Thank you very much, my dear friends. Inland waterways transport is a sector which is in very nascent stage as of now. But inland water transport offers cost effective, energy efficient and environment friendly mode of transport which can be utilized for relieving congestion on road and rail networks. As per a World Bank study, the cost of carrying one ton of cargo over one kilometer is rupees 2.28 on road base, 1.41 for rail base, and rupees 1.06 on water base. Moreover, inland vessels capacity is approximately 1,500 to 2,000 ton which is equivalent to 125 trucks on road and 30 to 40 rail wagons on railways. Inland water transport in India plays a very small role in national freight transport carrying only 2% of India's freight as of now, as compared to 7 to 14% in China, US and European unions. These regions possess matured river uh, system which are efficiently integrated with ports through multimodal corridors to facilitate exim flow of cargo. However, there is immense potential for inland water transport in India given that almost half of the Indian population lives around Ganga river belt which is the longest waterway as of now and about one fifth of all India freight originates and one third terminates in the states around Ganga Belt. There is a significant opportunity to expand the inland water transport sector in India. Renewed emphasis has been given for the development of this sector since 2014-15. Out of 111 new national waterways declared in 2016, Based on the various technical economic feasibility studies, Inland Waterways Authority of India has identified 23 national waterways for future development on priority. 19 waterways are currently operational and 109 million ton traffic was recorded on these waterways during 2021 which has grown significantly over the last 7-8 seven, seven, years. Development of new national waterways along with existing one will play a major role in inland waterways overall growth in the country. The traffic on inland waterways in India is expected to reach 200 million ton per annum by 2030. You can see from this uh, bar chart, in 2014-15, the traffic on national waterways was only 30.41 million ton which has now reached up to 109 million ton in 2021 and it is in the increasing tent of now. But this inland water transport is a slow mode of transportation because we are using the natural resources of rivers, waters for movement uh, of this uh, cargo. So uh, for low value cargo, this transport sector is uh, very much, uh, very much uh, uh, in demand. The major, portion, major commodity profile on inland waterways is coal, iron ore, sand, minerals, and little bit foodstuff and steel products. Inland Waterways Authority has taken up some key interventions which have been undertaken for development of inland water transport sector in India. The fo foremost is fairway development, which is uh, like a roadways, roads for, uh, for, for plying of vessels, uh, which requires a sufficient depth for movement of vessels, which we will do with dredging, river training works, conservancy works, bundling, and river marking is also done like uh, signage on the road. Then a terminal development we are doing. Some multimodal terminals has been uh, put up on National Waterway 1 at Varanasi, Haldia, Sahib Ganj, uh, Patna, on National Waterway 2 at Pandu, 
Dobri and Jogi Upite is coming up. And other riverine structure for uh, crossing the waterways uh, where this log, uh, where this uh, dams and 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 uh, varages are there. So navigation locks we are we have taken up a big uh, navigation lock uh, gate at Faraka. And the last one is vessels design and pilot runs to showcase uh, the the entrepreneurs that how this waterway is 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 feasible for movement of cargo. However, there are many challenges in inland water transport because we are using the natural resources. It is not that we are creating something uh, on land. Uh, uh, and, and, and there are certain challenges and uh, IWA is addressing these challenges uh, uh, appropriately. First one is lack of awareness about inland water transport since it is a new sector. Uh, IWA has been regularly disseminating possibilities and potential benefits of inland water transport through various stakeholders' interactions and targeted outreach. There is a lack of adequate skill, and we, are, uh, we have developed a, a center called Nini in, 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 in Patna, and it is currently offering various training programs for master engine drivers and other skills. Uh, there is lack of operational infrastructure for uh, coming uh, uh, through this uh, lack of infrastructure. One of the biggest project has been taken up for, for augmentation of, of uh, National Waterway Ban through Jalmarg Vikas project at a cost of around rupees 4,600 crores, where multimodal and intermodal terminals has been developed. And uh, the depth in the fairway is also being increased through assured depth contracts. Similarly, the National Waterway number 2, 1686, that is River Brahmaputra and Sundarbans are also being taken up for increasing the depth and increasing the efficiency of waterways. There is a, another, uh, another, another, another challenge that is shortage of inland uh, vessels in India. This is the major challenge because now the cargo has been grown up, people are coming, industry is coming up, but there is a shortage of inland vessels. Uh, however, to overcome this uh, problem, the Ministry of Port Shipping and Waterways has come up with a scheme for giving financial assistance for construction of vessels. Because uh, construction of vessel uh, requires a huge initial investment uh, around, around, uh, around 10 to 15 lakhs for one vessel. So, uh, so, so the people, people are uh, hesitant to invest for procuring the vessels. Then integration with coastal shipping. Uh, now, Director General of Shipping has now allowed inland vessels to ply in sea within five nautical miles uh, of the inshore traffic corridor during fair weather conditions. This will integrate uh, this inland water transport with coastal shipping. Uh, fairway development we are doing uh, with dredging and uh, other assured depth contracts uh, to remove the siltation from the river to increase the depth for bigger vessels. To develop inland water transport sector uh, as a self-sustainable, economical, safe, and environmental friendly mode of transportation, and to increase model share of inland water transport, Inland Waterways Authority of India has chalked out plan for next five years uh, with the following focus areas. One is promote and facilitate movement of bulk and containerized cargo, develop around 5,000 kilometers of navigable waterways route across states, enhance regional connectivity, with Northeast India and neighboring countries, that is Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, and Myanmar, through EVACTG, that is uh, Eastern Waterway Connectivity Transport Grid, new project is coming up for connectivity with these uh, neighboring countries. Then integrate inland water transport with coastal shipping and other modes. Target passenger cruise tourism on waterways by encouraging private sector. This is the new sector, cruise tourism, which is very much uh, in demand now. Uh, in India, and a lot of uh, increase has been noticed during the last few years. Coming up with that, uh, this we have, uh, have an uh, agreement with Bangladesh where the cruise vessel can also uh, ply a bit, uh, between India and Bangladesh, carrying uh, Indian and as well as international cruise passengers. Then we are focusing on infrastructure and service gaps and introduction of e-initiative in line with ease of doing business. We have taken up a few 
uh, few portals, uh, e-initiatives to, to, uh, to streamline the inland water transport. Uh, this is the connectivity of uh, inland uh, waterways uh, with, with Bangladesh, which give numerous possibility of trade between the regional countries, Kolkata being the focal point. Uh, coastal shipping agreement along with protocol of for inland water transport between India and Bangladesh will act growth and connectivity engine for region through an economical and greener mode of transport. Uh, these are some of the uh, project which we have taken up for increasing uh, uh, the partnership uh, uh, for the participation of the private players uh, in inland water sec inland waterway transport sector for giving the terminal operation to them uh, and also uh, for assured depth contracts there are in, in immense uh, pos uh, possibility of uh, transporting coal transportation on national waterway one lot of uh, this power projects are situated on National Waterway One, which can use the facility of uh, inland water transport for transporting the imported coal from from Kolkata to to their uh, plants. Uh, then uh, there is an opportunities uh, for for uh, uh, for movement of this coal to northeastern region from Kolkata. Most of the uh, this cement factories situated on on uh, in Assam and northeastern area are importing coal from uh, Haldia dockyard. Mostly it is done through rails as of now, but uh, this waterway can also offer opportunities uh, to this, uh, th this movement of coal to northeast. Then there is the opportunity of steel, uh, steel to, to, to northeastern region as well as to Bangladesh. Bangladesh is using a lot of uh, raw steel, sponge iron for manufacturing their products, which is also currently moving on tracks and roads, but during the pandemic, when this Benapol, Potrapol was uh, choked up, uh, they have they have uh, transferred their uh, uh, movement of cargo to waterways, and uh, we have happily uh, uh, welcomed that. And uh, now this uh, sponge iron is also moving uh, through waterways to Bangladesh. There are opportunities for other commodities: steel, uh, steel textile uh, is also you now being used, uh, uh, be being transported through waterways uh, in Bangladesh. Uh, to Bangladesh as well as to northeastern India. India connectivity to northeastern region is being reduced by declaring this uh, inclusion of Dulian Rajshahi stretch extended up to Aricha, and uh, this will be a good opportunity for movement of uh, stone aggregates from this uh, um, Bihar and Jharkhand area to Bangladesh as well as to northeastern region. Uh, significant movement has been taken up for uh, other movement of, of the material like iron and steel, textile, limestone boulders through waterways. Uh, we have also taken up some new uh, initiative for, for, for uh, this. Uh, new portals uh, for, for ease of doing business. Currently we have three portals. One is accessing navigation information for safe voice collection, compilation, analysis, and dissemination of cargo data. Provision to get uh, permission registration at SLA online for movement of vessel to Bangladesh uh, from India and from uh, Bangladesh to India. IWA expects from the industry to take advantage of these waterways, shift share of cargo to uh, inland waterway transport mode, identify problems and communicate them for resolution, evolve future-proof strategy, with support of all stakeholders, users, and operators. Thank you very much. We are here to support you at head office, Kolkata office, Guwahati office, and Patna office, as well as in Cochin office. And uh, there is a list of uh, the, the responsibility and uh, uh, works we are, which we are carrying out, uh, the services which IWA is providing. Thank you very much.